This pattern is probably the only dry fly that you'll ever need. We'll start off with some black Vivis thread. We'll secure our thread to the hook shank, creating a base for our next step. Snap the excess free and grab some pair wing material. Here I've selected some high vis orange. Secure it tightly a little ways from the hook eye. Begin wrapping your thread up the pair wing material, creating a post. It's best to start this with some loose wraps, wrapping tighter and tighter as you go. We will then work our way back down to the bottom and create some thread dams, ensuring our post isn't going to spin around the hook shank. Once complete, we will wrap our thread to the back of the hook, snipping off the excess of our paraline. Grab a brown feather, we'll select about 5 to 10 fibers, and measure them to be about the length of our hook shank. Secure them to the back of the hook, and wrap forward, further securing them up towards our post. Snip the excess free, and wrap back towards the tail. Here we'll grab some gray dubbing, create a dubbing noodle, and begin wrapping forward towards our post, creating a transition from the tail to the post of our fly. Carefully avoiding not to trap any fibers in the process. Once complete, we will grab some saddle hackle. Here I'm using grizzly as well as a brown color. Rip some fibers free, leaving an exposed stem of our feather, and tie them onto our post. We'll secure it tightly, snip the excess free, and begin wrapping both feathers towards the top of the post. Once again, taking loose wraps to begin and securing tighter and tighter as you go. Work your way back down to the base and grab some more dubbing. Here I'm gonna be using a two-tone, so I have selected black UV dubbing. Make a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping this towards the hook eye. We wanna continue our transition from the back of the fly with the head being the thickest part. Grab more dubbing as needed and continue to work back towards our post. We want to finish with our thread above the body for the next step. We can then begin to hackle our two feathers, wrapping them around the post towards the base. Once happy, we'll carefully secure them, being cautious not to trap any feathers beneath our thread. Snip the excess free, and grab a whip finisher. Once again, we'll be careful not to trap any fibers. And this is the Parachute Atoms. If I had to choose to fish one dry fly, I would choose this one in several different colors and sizes. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.